Today I want to talk to you about kale. Yes, that's my name actually. But uh, mostly it's uh, one of my favorite things because it's so versatile. So today I want to show you uh, a couple ways that you can use your kale that has overwintered that you might not have thought about. Here is a kale. It's part of the brassica family, you know, collard greens, broccoli, cauliflower, all the good green stuff. And so it's not that surprising that when you have kale that is bolted like this has and overwintered, spring has come, temperatures are heating up, you, some people like to throw this away. That's a big mistake. First reason is, does that remind you of anything? Looks just like broccoli. It's because it is about to flower and both the flowers and the buds are edible. The best part is they taste just like broccoli. So what I like to do is snap the apical or the top one off and then it starts to send out all these other little shoots that remind you of broccoli rob or broccolini. And so then you can come in here and I like to snap them down where the uh, still nice and tender and then you just go through here and you just keep grabbing them and you can get two or three of these. And these can cook up just like broccolini, which is the best. Great for scrambles or pastas or anything like that. But our favorite thing is pesto. Grab all of these and then you grind them up with some olive oil, and some garlic, and various other uh, spices that you like to put into your regular pesto. It makes an amazing broccoli or kale or... And they're just awesome. So I really suggest that you make a pesto out of these if you are getting ready to pull any of your brassicas or your broccolis or your cauliflowers or your kales that didn't make it through the winter or did make it through the winter. They're really good just to eat as a snack in the yard too. My son loves them. You also might be thinking like, that's a pretty weird pesto. Let's make it weirder. So right here underneath the plant, you have dead nettle. Oh shoot, it's like everywhere. Dead nettle is part of the mint family. And how do you know it's part of the mint family? It's got a square stem. See how square that is? And it looks like a nettle. It's not going to make you dead. It is a part of the mint family and they are delicious. And a little bit of a diuretic, but don't eat, you know, like a whole bowl of them. But they're great for pestos, pastas, and stews, and whatever, you know, other things you want to throw them into. Just use them like greens. But don't, you know, go wild on it. But they're fine. Also pretty good as a snack. And then finally... Let's just, you know, kick it up to the next level and go with some other uh, wild, weird plants. Did you know that pretty much every part of a dandelion is edible? Mmm, yummy. But you can add the flowers, uh, especially, or if you can find nice, young, green spring tips of um, uh, dandelions this time of year, you can add those to your um, pastas, your pestos. And so... Basically, you've got three things. Bolting brassicas, dead nettle, dandelion. Put them together, you got a pretty colorful salad and a pretty colorful pesto. And that is my weird spring greens uh, ideas for you today.